Wednesday, July 2, 2025 brought exciting astronomy news, catching many unaware. A new interstellar object is captivating astronomers worldwide. Currently at plus 18th magnitude, this object is moving slowly between the constellations Serpens Cauda and Sagittarius, close to the galactic plane. Discovered on July 1st by the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, the object was remotely imaged on July 2nd using a telescope in Chile. This allowed astronomers to plot a preliminary orbit. What's fascinating is the object's high eccentricity, now estimated at nearly 6.0. This is the highest ever recorded. Typically, a closed orbit has an eccentricity of 1.0 or less. This object, however, is coming from interstellar space on an extreme path, possibly from the thin galactic disk. David Rankin from the University of Arizona confirms it's entering a hyperbolic orbit. Currently, A11PL3Z shows no signs of cometary activity. Estimates suggest it might be about 20 kilometers in size. It has a preliminary designation on the Near-Earth Object Confirmation page as A11PL3Z, and we await a formal name soon. Interestingly, A11PL3Z moves fast, traveling at 60 kilometers per second, potentially making it much larger. It's a young object moving near the local galactic standard of rest unlike the older interstellar object 3i. The discovery of A11PL3Z follows the notable Oumuamua and Borisov. Oumuamua was the first interstellar object found in 2017, causing significant discussion due to its shape and rapid exit from our solar system. Borisov followed in 2019, enriching our understanding of interstellar objects. What sets A11PL3Z apart is its inbound trajectory. It will reach its closest point to the Sun, or perihelion, on October 29, 2025, at 135 astronomical units from the Sun. On October 3rd, it will pass just 0.2 AU from Mars, possibly observable from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. However, Earth will be on the opposite side of the Sun during its perihelion. The closest approach to Earth occurs on October 30, 2025, at 135 AU, moving outbound at 61 kilometers per second. Thanks to tools like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, we're prepared to study A11PL3Z in detail. Observations from these advanced facilities will be pivotal in understanding this interstellar enigma. Clearly, we are finding that interstellar asteroids and comets are more common than previously thought, and we were just missing them as they sped through the solar system. Join us for updates as we explore more about A11PL3Z.